I am here with none other than Queen Squared, two-time queen. Well done, that is incredible. They say an officer and gentleman, but today we have a queen and gentleman. Two-time winner now of the Science Supplements British Royal Society Queen Elizabeth Cup. How did it feel out there? Yeah, incredible. Like uh, Helen and Mark Edwards, they were all, you know, I knew in the jump off going first against them guys, I thought I was going to have to nail it. I thought I hadn't just quite done enough, but okay, today was my day. And that's the thing, it's not an enviable position to be pole position first in the ring. Mark actually even in fact had the time, didn't he, but you managed to force the faults. Yeah, no, I, I knew when I seen the jump off that the five to the last in the first round, it rode really steady and was spinning back to the second last. You were going to be just aiming for that front pole the whole way up yeah. the hill. I was, my guy actually, he did touch it, but I was lucky he didn't touch it hard enough, Mark. But it's just the rub of the green. And it's staying off on the right, yeah. right time, the right day. Um, tell us a bit more about gentlemen. Michael Whitaker had him before, you didn't he? Um, in fact, his full name. Yeah, his full name is Gentleman Van Het Veldhof. Okay. Uh, Michael rode him, I think, two years ago. Uh, he'd, he'd done amazing things with Michael, and then Kuhn, Ver, Kuhn de War, a uh, Belgian guy, had him. Yeah. And then uh, I was lucky the Vitek family bought him and uh, offered me the ride. And, I just and I mean, he only touched down with you just before the Derby show here a month ago, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, he literally, I got back from Bolsworth on Sunday night. He arrived on a transport, I think, six o'clock Monday morning. I, I watched back a few videos of him and see Michael had brought him to Hickstead, so I thought I'll bring him here and see what he's like. Back. Yeah. Um, now tell us a bit more, for those who might not know, we go back a long way. You were literally one of Shane's first pupils, only all those years ago yeah. when you moved over here. You're part of the Hickstead family. I know it, it's a bit extra special for you to win here, isn't it? Yeah, no, it? it's incredible. And the fact that Shane is the older man to have won it twice is I know. really, really, really cool. Like it's, it's making us feel old, by the way, we were saying. <laughs> now his, his juniors are now coming up and winning it twice. Yeah, no, like I... I literally owe everything in my career to Shane. I came over here as, I think, a 17-year-old tearaway. That I don't know. If he I was, was an absolute tearaway. I don't know if I was invited over here or I was just thrown out of Ireland. <laughs> We've been to trying to get rid of him ever since. <laughs> but yeah, no, I can thank Shane and Chloe enough for what they've done. The whole Hickstead family, from Granny Sue to Lizzie to obviously Daisy, they all made me feel like part of the family for a young guy leaving Ireland. And just yeah. Pretty much everything I have in my career, I owe to Hickstead. But I think crucially as well, for other people who might be thinking, shall I take the leap, shall I do it, those dreams can come true. And you, of course, are now based not far away from here with your family. Huge day for DLS show jumping. Yeah. What are your plans for the future of you guys together? Uh, yeah, no, keep growing, literally. we. Are, I think every myself and Michael Duffy, obviously, we both rode for Shane and we use him sort of as our... Uh, our guide and, you know, we your still... angel. Yeah, li literally, we still work really close with him. I work with him in Dubai for two months at the start of the year. Michael's on the Miami Celtics with Shane. Yeah. And, you know, if you if you have any sort of query or any worry, you just pick up the phone, no matter where he is in the world, he'll always answer, he'll always give you a bit of guidance. And I think, to be honest, the, one of the main things Brina Equestrian taught me is, no matter... You know, as long as you're working hard, things will come your way. And exactly. Stick it out and it will, it will all come good. And actually, how lovely for you now to be in a position to be taking on your own pupils and your own and passing on that breadth of experience. Yeah, it's incredible. I have Antonia Platt training with me now. She's an incredible talent. She was on the winning British team in uh, Centaur Park at the start of the year. And yeah, it feels, you know, I, I, Shane really put a lot of time and effort into us. And now when you're helping younger guys coming up through who, you know, who really work hard, it, you really... You see why he done it, and it was yeah. it's a pretty incredible feeling. Well, listen, well done. Go and enjoy your success, and congratulations again. Thank you for watching. Thank you.